Well, the alleged former lover of Pastor Jamal Bryant of the New Birth Missionary Baptist Church is speaking out now, demanding that Bryant be fired from his position as pastor over multiple, multiple reports. Um, well, she experienced it for herself of inappropriate dealings with many different women. We're going to get into the details of this, guys. Before we go any further, if you enjoy the daily content I put out for here on YouTube and you'd like to help support my channel and ministry, then I recommend you go sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description right now gets you access to all the bonus content. Soon it might be all the content, though, with YouTube cracking down and everything, giving me all kinds of warnings. Who knows how much longer I'm going to be here. So if you guys want to not only help support what I do, but also make sure you keep getting the content, then I recommend you go there and sign up. Please also like this video Hit the like button for me, guys. Please hit that like button and share this video. Subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. So let's talk here about Tanya Griffin. She spoke out earlier this week over the year-long relationship that she had with Bryant, where a lot of the you-know-what was going on during this period. But she said that she wasn't the only woman that Bryant was involved with. No, 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 no. She claimed that he was involved with multiple different women during this time. Uh, now, she's also stating that he had fathered several children, too, from these other women that he was with at the time that he was supposedly with Griffin, and she wants him gone as the pastor of New Birth. Now, she said that she is tired of this whole this whole thing where, you know, we rehabilitate these pastors. They go away, they get the help, they get the healing, but then they're right back in the pulpit again, and they're preaching. Now, she says that she believes that, of course, everybody has sinned and fallen short and that they deserve that redemption that Christ provides. But she does not believe that that means we just need to put them right back into preaching again. She said, just have them be in the church for a while. Don't have them serve in ministry. No reason to get them rushed back in there again. She said the reason, too, that she wants him gone is because he's not a truth teller. She said that he is a liar. He's lied about these other women and he's been trying to hide this now. And he's only been the lead pastor of New Birth since 2018. And this church has a long history of inappropriate dealings. Their former pastor, too, had to pay out a lot of money with other, well, dealings that he was involved with. So just shady stuff going on all over here when it comes to New Birth. And uh, Jamal Bryan, I mean, this is, this is a progressive left-wing pastor as it is. Uh, so, and I don't, I, the statements that he's made before in the past, I do not support or stand by. Uh, so that's all another reason you can get rid of this guy. But on top of that, being involved with all of these women, um, just, just dirty, you know, these dirty pastors, ladies and gentlemen, behind the scenes, we've been exposing them, you know, I've been exposing them for like the last year now, and more and more of this continues to come out. Now, if you want to check out the full interview that Tanya gave, I'll put a link down below in the description. She spoke out earlier this week about it. What do you think? Should Jamal Bryant be fired as the lead pastor of New Birth, or do you think that he should stay on? Uh, is uh, is his alleged lover here lying about this? What do you think? Maybe you attend the church. You can give us your insight. Let us know down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.